Hey yo guys, what's up? My name is Trix AK Nico. Welcome to a new video of mine. Today, we're here again on Hypixel Skyblock, and I have something really special for you. I have a money-making method, and I know that there are a lot out there, and I know that a really big one has been nerfed a couple of days ago. It was called the Tarantula Unstable Raiders Farm, which made millions of coins per day. And believe it or not, I found another method. This beautiful giant block right here. It's basically based on the same principle that the Tarantula Unstable Farm was based on, but with a slight twist. Based on the fact that the Raider's Axe got nerfed and the scavenger effects do not apply on your own island anymore, I thought to myself, what else can I do? And the first thing that came to my mind was selling items, because the Tarantula generated an insane amount of items. But then I thought to myself that there is another entity that generates even more and even more valuable items. And it was the Magma Cube, pretty simple. The Magma Cream sells each for 8 coins at the merchant, which is the equivalent of a freaking diamond. So yeah, here you have it, the diamond farm. But it wouldn't be a money making method video without any numbers. So let's get right into them. Alright, so right as the video came out, I tested probably every single entity that there was and checked out what the most efficient level as well as the most efficient items were to make money. And I found out that Magma Cream still is not only the most valuable mob drop, but you can also generate insane amounts of them. So I started off with a pretty simple test. I tested 30 minutes with 5 level 5 magma minions as well as 1 level 7, based on the fact that I'd never had a magma farm and these were the only ones that I could afford. The beginning was actually quite good. 10 minutes for these magma creams was actually quite good because I compared it with a friend to his magma cube farm that is based around cacti and you can see that it generated way more. The other results were quite the same and then I thought to myself I had to go deeper into the numbers. So the next thing that I did was only take level 5 minions and check out how much they produced. So I took 3 level 5 minions and checked them for 15 minutes in a 5 minute interval. They generated an insane amount of items as you can see. And this is the equivalent again for the magma cube farm with the cacti. As you can see, all these results were quite similar and the only reason why you can achieve this is basically the looting enchantment. As you can see right here, the only thing that you actually need is the looting enchantment, as the looting effect not only applies with this unstable armor, but it also splits up the bigger magma cubes into three smaller ones, where each single one of them is also affected by the looting enchantment. So now that we have tested a little bit, we can now scale these numbers up and get to a result of 180,000 coins per minion per day, which makes this farm even with only level 5 magma cube minions, the best money making method in the entire game. And this by a long run. I'm not taking into consideration that the tarantula minion was able to generate 10 million coins per day because it's not here anymore and everything else is not even comparable to this farm. If you take for example a tier 11 clay minion with diamond spreading and every single upgrade that there is, it can generate up to 50,000 coins per day. If you compare that to our level 5 magma cube minion with 180,000 coins per day, that is a money making method that has the potential to break the economy once again. But since you probably not only have one minion but multiple ones of these, the amounts of money can add up to 4 million per day if you have the maximum amount of minion slots. But since probably most of you don't have 23 or 24 minion slots, I took 17 minion slots as an average because I think mid to late game players tend to have like around 17 minion slots. It turns out that you still can make 3 million coins per day. And then I thought to myself, level 5 is insanely low. So I tested it with level 7 as well, based on the fact that I thought to myself it's gonna be faster as well it's gonna be generating more entities as well as coins. But then I found out that like with the first results, it was only one minion by the way, you can see that it's still insane. But when I took the numbers and added them up to, to a day, you could see that it's only around 10k more. Which isn't quite insane amount of money if you think about the fact that a tier 11 clay minion only generates five times that per day. But if you take into consideration that a level five minion takes one stack and 24 enchanted magma cream to get up to level seven, I thought to myself, I'm gonna stick with level 5. So now, here is my setup. It's a pretty simple 7x7 tower, with minions right in here. You can see most of them are only still level 1, based on the fact that I, like I said, never had a magma cube farm and I just started out with this a couple of hours ago. But down here, as you can see, I have one level 8 minion, which was here just to upgrade my minion slot. Alright, so basically it's just a 7x7 tower, with a sign one block higher than the lowest minions, because every single one minion can reach this sign over here and then other signs to block off magma cubes spawning in the wall or getting glitched out there. 
All right, from the outset, it's pretty simple. You can not only collect your items, but also upgrade your minions, as you can see through these tiny little holes, and you don't have to go in every time. These other blocks don't really have any purpose for you guys. You don't have to build them. It's just my indication of which minions are already on level five, so that I can see which I still have to upgrade. All right, if we now go down here, you can see there is a tiny hole based on the fact that this is a half slab that I will be removing after this video, based on the fact that some magma cream still falls out here. So basically, just close it up until you get this hopper floor. Pretty simple floor that all connects to one straight hopper line that goes down into your storage area. And then you have a simple AFK pole. I built the bigger one as the tiny one tends to kick people and I don't want to be kicked with a farm like this that generates millions per day. And since you now know everything about the farm, I'm going to show you on how much magma cream you actually can make with one simple strike. I'm going to put on my helmet and let's just wait. And since, like I said, they bunch up a lot and my first calculations were based on the fact that I had a bunch lying around here. This first strike is gonna be amazing, but this is not what you're gonna get for every single strike. So here you see, I got four freaking stacks and 34 magma cream with one single strike. It's gonna go down quite a lot, as you can see. Now it's only about two stacks anymore. And now, yeah, it's gonna go down by a lot. But still, like I said, my calculations showed off that you can make easily 1 to 3 million coins even without having all of your minion slots unlocked yet. Alright, and since this is basically it, I hope you enjoyed the video and I would really highly appreciate a like as well as some critical feedback as this is still my second video and I'd love to improve on my mistakes. If you want to stay up to date with what I'm doing, then feel free to subscribe as well as turn on the notification bell to always get notified when I'm uploading. And since this is basically it, I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching and have an awesome day.